In CockroachDB, every SQL operation runs inside of a transaction. The transactional boundary is what ensures operations remain consistent. For complex operations involving multiple SQL statements, we create a transaction using begin and commit. Everything between those statements will become part of an explicit transaction. However, for single statements, it can seem like a lot of extra boilerplate. To simplify single statements, CockroachDB supports implicit transactions. It will automatically wrap a single statement in a transaction without requiring an explicit begin and commit. For example, if you were to execute a single insert statement, you could choose to manually create an explicit transaction. However, because it is a single SQL statement, the transaction is unnecessary. Instead, you can execute the statement and under the hood, CockroachDB will implicitly create a transaction for you. The node Postgres connection pool contains additional functionality that helps further simplify implicit transactions. Normally, if we wanted to execute a SQL query, we would have to lease a connection from the pool and then release it once we're done. However, if our SQL query can be done as a single operation, then we can skip some of that work. Instead, we can run the query directly on the connection pool. The driver will automatically lease the next available connection, execute the statement, and then return the connection back to the pool. This further reduces the amount of boilerplate code that we need to write. This technique can also be applied to batched operations. If we want to execute multiple independent operations, we can combine them into a SQL batch and execute them with the pool. Implicit transactions can help to simplify both our Node.js code and our SQL code. However, many operations can't be implemented using an implicit transaction. In general, if we have a single operation to perform, then using an implicit transaction is probably a good idea. However, once you start getting into situations where you need to combine multiple interdependent SQL operations, an explicit transaction will be required. <laughs>